This one goes out to the South Australian Police Commissioner. I mean, it is important that they isolate within their own homes. They can't simply participate in normal family activities whilst they are quarantining. They must segregate from the rest of the house as much as possible, otherwise the, the whole purpose is pointless. I didn't just include this clip so I can directly quote him in a response later on in this video. I also wanted to point out how disgusted I am by a leader of my state trying to push the blame of the spread of the virus onto families. I'd also like to remind everybody that the privilege of being out of quarantine the way I believe the police commissioner is imagining isn't universal across South Australia, across anywhere. Some homes aren't big enough for the people that have to live in there or even there might be some people that would have COVID that simply would be worse off if you put them by themselves. For example, small children, the elderly, people with disabilities. And I'd also like to point out that the police commissioner is aware that you should stay away from people, even in your own home, to prevent the spread of the virus. So you most certainly should not be going to work at any of your jobs while you have the virus. So do you think it's unreasonable then for people to question whether or not security guards are then free to go and work in other places such as food handling? But does it make any difference if a person who works in a Medi hotel has a second job or goes to a gym, sits in a cinema, participates in sport? They yes, it makes a fucking difference, especially if they have the fucking virus. They have mortgages to pay, they have other bills to pay. Give these people a break. The fiery exchange sparked following revelations a security guard at the Peppers Hotel was working part-time at a Woodville pizza bar while infected, spreading the virus to a delivery driver and another Medi Hotel worker. I'd give the dude more than a break. I'd give him a very substantial wage, one where he wouldn't need to go work another job. He wouldn't be allowed to because the job he's doing is very important. He's protecting the people from a deadly virus. If that is your job, you shouldn't need another job. That's that one aspect of it. Now note, he just defended people that work at Medi Hotels for the coronavirus quarantine having another job because, you know, they got mortgages to pay. Now onto the lie that sent the state into a lockdown. The lie was uh, the person claimed that they'd purchased a pizza from the pizza shop where in fact they were uh, working there and had been working there for several shifts. That clearly changes the circumstances and had this person been truthful to the contact tracing teams, uh, we would not have gone into a six day lockdown. And why did he lie about it? If it's so unreasonable for us to expect these workers to not have a second job, why didn't he just say he was working at the pizza restaurant? Now let's further dissect this lie that closed down the state. So we had to shut everything down because it was believed that person got COVID from ordering pizza. A person that works at the hotel where they've guarding people with COVID happened to have just bought a pizza that gave him COVID. That's what they want us to believe that he would have told us as his first initial excuse. But it's all good to have a second job. So I don't know why they wouldn't have just straight up said that. It's almost like people feel like you shouldn't be doing it. Or else why would you lie about it? And looking further into this oh so important lie, turns out they worked there, didn't order a pizza, but they still have COVID. Where did that come from? I'm going to put my money on their other job guarding people with COVID. So that means there was a breach at the quarantine hotels. But we're going to focus on someone lying about a job which is totally fine for them to have, supposedly. That's what the police commissioner and the premier, Steve, want the people of South Australia to believe. Well, if that's the case, I think a lot of people need to step down. You see, the quarantine hotel is meant to stop the spread of the virus, not have people employed there, which then spread the virus. It makes the whole purpose pointless. 